Well, hey everybody. I'm so excited to do another artist with you this week. You ready to do some art this week, Jane? Yeah. Awesome. So I got my daughter Jane, I'm Mr. Tyler, and we're gonna do some art. So, the artist of the week, here's my nice little Sharpie, is an American artist who painted a lot of Old West paintings. He lived in Iowa. Did yeah. you know that? And his name was Grant Wood. Okay. So Grant Wood uh, used a lot of landscapes, painted simple lines and used textures to draw the hills and trees and farmland and kind of the Old West that he was in uh, back in Iowa. So let's practice drawing some landscape this week. Okay. There's actually a couple, there's a lot of different techniques and uh, several different steps we're going to be working on. So you should have your big piece of manila paper right here. You're going to need a strip of blue paper that you should have. We'll, we'll use that later, so put that off to the side. Another thing we're going to use later at, the, at the, the last section is some paint. So we have yellow, green, and brown paint. Just a little dime-sized dot on a piece of paper, uh, on a paper plate for you. We'll keep that off to the side. You're also going to need a sponge cut into a nice, so, somewhat of a round shape. So what I did, uh, maybe get your parents to help you with this, I got just a nice normal sponge. I cut it into a square, about an inch by an inch square, and then I just took my scissors and kind of rounded off the edges as best I could so that I had a nice little circle sponge. So we're going to need those, but later. So you can put that on your paper plate. Don't get paint on it just yet. Hmm. We're going to need some glue. We're going to need three colored crayons. So we need brown, green, and yellow. Uh, and you probably want crayons without the paper on them, because for this, most of the painting we're going to do is on the side of the crayon. So we're going to be using the side of the crayon to paint this landscape. Uh, not the tip of the crayon. So you want a crayon that you can take apart, maybe even break in half if you need uh, something like that. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to want your learning page that we did in the previous video. And you're going to need these fun textures. We're going to play with some textures later. So I'll put it on the screen here, but we have this little like net texture. We have this cardboard with this nice bumpy texture here. And we're going to use those later as well. Am I missing anything? I think that's everything we need. Yeah. So that feels like a lot, but let's jump in. So mm -hmm. we're going to start with our landscape and you're just going to pick either your green or your brown crayon, right? One of your darker crayons. And let's start by making the horizon line. So right near the top, go down about two or three fingers off on the side of your page, there you can see Jane doing it on her screen, and put just a little dot right on the edge of your paper right there, two or three fingers down. Perfect. Okay, now go to the other side, same thing, two or three fingers down, and put a little dot right on the edge, right there. Let me make sure I'm doing my notes right. Okay, Jane's got that. Okay, so now what we want to do is just make a horizon line, not straight across and not jagged. These are not big, tall mountains, but just think of a nice, nice rolling hill. So just a little bit of a curve, but not too much of a curve from one end to the other. I'm just going to kind of go up, maybe down, and back up again, but just a nice, simple curve. You're just making a horizon line. Yeah, good job, Jane. Uh, so yeah, you have your nice little curve, and the top is going to be the sky, and so we're not going to color that in at all. Uh, and then the bottom, we're going to make these farm fields together. Okay, so now... Uh, so Jane, find, try to, just with your finger, find the middle of, just guess, right around the middle of your line here. Yeah? 
And then from that line, maybe go over like four fingers, four fingers from the middle. Yeah. Just like that. And then put a little dot right on the line, about four fingers from the middle. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to draw four lines, again, nice and curving, not too jagged or straight, to the bottom of our page here. So maybe one will go off. So you have, let's see, if you're looking at the page straight on, you have the left side of your page, the bottom of your page, and the right side of your page, right? Mm -hmm. So I want us to take this and draw a nice curving line that goes from that dot to the left side of your page and just right to the edge, just like that. Very good, okay. And now let's draw another one from that dot. Same dot, start there. Nice curving line, kind of down to the right side of your page, right near the corner, but not right in the corner. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. So you should have something like this. What we're doing here is we're drawing a horizon line, right? And so if we're standing in this field in the foreground, you're looking back and everything is fading into one point. It looks like everything's getting smaller as it goes back into the distance, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think those are all the lines that we need. You know what? Actually, let's draw one, two, three, four. Four. We want four lines total. So we've done two to the right and to the left. Let's do two more down to the bottom of our page. So start at the same line and do one down here and one down there. Yeah, there you go. Good. So you see how we did that? So we drew, from the same dot, four lines going to different parts of the bottom of our page. There, like that. Are you confused yet? No. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to color in these different colors. So we have, I'm going to actually break mine in parts. We have yellow, green, and brown. Right. So let's alternate colors, choose a color, and just lightly shade in the whole section. So these are like four, one, two, three, four, I guess five different fields. Uh, if you're looking out on a big landscape, you have five different fields fading into one point in the background. So take, let's start maybe with brown or whichever color. You can leave one of your colors blank too. Just let it be the color of the paper. But let's pick uh, and then just alternate. So I'm going to take the side of my, side of my crayon here and just kind of shade in the background like that. See how I'm doing that? I'm just picking one of my, one section. Try not to go into the other section. Yeah, you might need to hold the paper down with your other page, but just kind of color it in lightly. Yeah, just like that. That's great. And then do the same thing. Pick up, you know, your, your yellow crayon or another one and do that in the next section. So each section should have its own color. Uh, you can do two colors, two sections the same color. You can leave one section blank altogether, but just use the side of your crayon so you're not getting too dark of spots on there. I'm going to do a green one, I think. And if you find that your crayon's just too big, maybe breaking it in half will help you get to those smaller parts. Good. Very nice. So you can see while Jane's working on hers. I colored one brown, yellow, green, I left one blank, and I colored it yellow. So you can just mix and match and 
color in all of your fields with, with the three colors that we have. Nice. <laughs> all right, what's the next color you're going to pick? Brown. Nice. Ooh, I like your brown. My brown's really dark. Your brown is... So light. Yeah, I like how light yours is. Me too. Yours looks black. It does kind of look black. Maybe I picked the wrong crayon. Yeah. It's probably... All right, so finish up. Yeah. Finish yours. I'm going to start explaining. The next thing we're going to do is add some fun texture to this. So, we're going to take, uh, unclip if they're clipped together. So you have two different textures to work with here. So here's what we're going to do. Oops. I have a little paper clip stuck on mine. That's okay. So, while Jane's finishing up, I'm going to start with the cardboard and use the really bumpy side. And I'm going to put it underneath my paper and pick one of them. So I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick my yellow one. And then what you wanna do is pick a color that's not the same color that's in the background. So I picked yellow, so I'm gonna pick up my green one. And here's what we wanna do. Kind of position it under here, hold it with my other hand so that the paper doesn't move. And then still with the side of my crayon, I'm just gonna start coloring over my paper. But just on, oh. yeah, isn't that cool? Just on the field that I did there, you see? Yeah, so here, I'll show you over here. I made some nice, it looks like rows of corn or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you want to try it with this one? So you try one with this one. Pick, pick a field. You don't have to pick the same one as me. You can pick the green or something. Uh, but just pick a different color crayon than the one that you already put in there. So I'm going to pick, uh, so now I'm going to take my net and I'm going to put that under another one. Maybe, maybe my blank one right here. So take your net, however you want it, and kind of put it underneath one like this. And then pick another color. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, isn't that I cool? like that. That's I a nice little. <laughs> so you could do maybe three, pick three different sections and sh and texture them in, and leave some some just kind of blank, like they're just grass or something. So which which texture do you want to do? Mm, I want to do this texture on this green. Nice. So Try that out. Um, my, on the brown one. I think I'll do green on top of the brown. Mm hmm Let me see you do it. Ooh, that's cool. I like this texture. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> cool. All right, do you want to do one with the the net? Yeah. I think I'll do this green one. Okay. Yeah, you can unfold it. You can unfold it and then put it underneath. Hmm. That's good. And then this one, you, you kind of have to push down a little harder on this one, but what color are you going to pick for that? I think I'll do brown. Okay.
Let's watch Jane do hers. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I like this text. I like text. I like text for Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever thought to do that? To put something like this behind your paper to make texture? No, I never knew that would work. Yeah. Would, that's what a fun uh, thing to learn how to do. If, you had, if we had other textures, you could do all sorts of things, huh? Yeah, I can put it under the paper and, and before I put it under, I can put it one color. And then I can put a texture like this net or this bumpy thing under it. Mm -hmm. And then color with another color over it. There. That's great. I'm going to do another one. Another one with this? Mm -hmm. These are the only two textures we have. You could do it running the other direction. So you made your lines going horizontal. But you can make them kind of at an at an angle even, going back toward the, the center. Doing this? Yeah, you could do it that way, on on maybe this one next to it. I think I'll do this one. Okay. I need the green. Great. Okay, let's add a, a little bit more texture this time. Uh, maybe some, some plants or some actual crops, things like that. So take one of your crayons, like your brown or your green, and pick one, either one that you already put texture on or a different one. And you can just add like maybe some little stalks of corn. Really, really simple, like just three little lines going up. But you could do, like watch this, chain. Now when you do this, Remember, we're in, a, we're in the horizon, so the front thing should be bigger than the, the back things, right? Because yeah. we're looking back into the distance. So I'm going to show you here. If I, if I just did some corn like this, do just like a repeating pattern. So if you pick, if you do something like that. And you have to add less detail to it as they get small. Yeah, I'm making them smaller going backwards. So you see what I did there? So here, I'll show you on mine. I like I made that. bigger in the back, getting but smaller. Like good. Here's a, another another cool thing. You could add like, uh, I don't, I don't, like bushes, like little swirly bushes, right? Yeah. You could do like this, so I could do a big swirl. You could also just do repeating lines. If you look back on your learning page, you practiced a lot of these just repeating lines. You could pick one and just do that same pattern the whole way through. So, pick a repeating pattern and just do that all the way through. Nice. Slowly bushes. Nice. Oh, nice. You're getting smaller. Like it's farther away. <laughs> okay, so you're going to keep working on that. You can keep figuring out your patterns. Uh, I'm going to show us the next step. So now, uh, once Jane, once you're done, I want you to take scissors um, and 
just kind of cut right along that horizon line. So you're going to cut out the sky, basically. Cut out the sky, and you might have you might do this before, but you can just go through and kind of darken the the lines that we made. So that top line and the lines dividing all of our different patches, <laughs> just kind of go through and darken those a little bit so they stand out. Yeah, so like that. So then, this is where that bloom strip of paper comes in. What we want to do is we're going to glue our blue strip of paper onto the back so that just like a inch or two, like two fingers, go up above. So that's like your blue sky in the Ooh. background there, just like that. See? Like a little night sky. Yeah, so maybe you'll take some glue. And don't glue the whole thing. Just glue like right on the... The, that top strip and just maybe a little bit going down because this this piece of blue paper is not that big so you just want a little bit right on the horizon line right yeah. are you ready to cut yours Jane I'll give more and then try to put it right there and just kind of lightly tap it down so that Okay. All right, and then when Jane gets hers cut and glued, we'll show you the final piece, which is making a tree. All right, so last thing we're gonna do is put something right here in the foreground, a nice big tree. Okay. All right, so now Daddy. take your... Soon. So first let's draw a trunk. So now we're going to use the tip of our crayon. Use the brown and the green crayon. Uh, kind of mix, them, mix and match. But start, build, draw a trunk, maybe right, make the trunk right at the, not like two fingers up from the bottom in one of these big fields right here. You can eat, so I'm going to have it like right, not right in the center, but kind of draw. Your trunk is going to have a little wobbly bottom, like it's the... The roots going into the ground, right? Kind of like that. And then kind of it starts big and it goes up and it gets smaller and smaller. And do it kind of dark so that it covers all the background. And go up, not too hot, not, not all the way, kind of right up to where, where I put it right here. So you can see I started about two fingers up and got smaller and smaller and it stopped right about three-fourths of the page up. And then just kind of with straight lines up and down, color it in with a little brown. Maybe come back with a little green. A little more brown. Just give it a little texture like that. So I did mine like that. There we go. Okay, so now we get to use our sponges. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you here. So, take your sponge in your hand and find the circle side, make a little circle. Here's what we wanna do. We're gonna, we're gonna have mix all three colors together. It's a little tricky. So what I want us to do is put the whole thing in the green. Here, you wait, Jane. Put the whole thing in the green, like that. Maybe even just dab a little bit off so it's not too, you don't want it too wet, but just covered in green. And then just the tip in yellow, right like that. And the other tip, so top yellow, bottom brown. So can you see that? And then here's what we're gonna do. The yellow is like the, the sun gleaming down on the top of the tree. The brown is like the shadow on the bottom of the leaves and so if i always want my yellow to be facing up right yellow's up brown's down i'm gonna put it straight down and then just do a little twist not all the way around 
kind of like that, like a half twist. Cool. And then I'm going to do it another one, just right next to it, half twist, like that. Mm. See how it's making it kind of shadowy, like that. That's a good way to make it. Yeah. Too. So Jane, you try that now. So put so green first, and you may need to reapply. So I'm going to put you know, a little green. You don't have to worry about washing this sponge or anything. A little yellow on top, a little brown on bottom. And then just keep making circles like that. Go down. You can go some down, some up. But what you're going to want is make like a nice round tree. Uh, and you can make it go kind of big, like kind of the size of a big, maybe both fists together. And a nice big tree with the yellow always on the top. Brown always on the bottom, makes nice little shades, and you can always add a little bit more. I'm going to show you mine over here. You can kind of see all my leaves coming out. The yellow sunlight hitting the leaves and the shadow on the bottom. Let's watch Jane do hers. Okay, I'm move yours into the there. Ooh, that's cool, Jane. Yeah. And don't worry if there's, in, there's open space, but you can always just add a little bit more green into your sponge. Yeah. There you go. Yellow on top. Yeah. Let's see you do it. Very cool. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> I like doing sponge pinky. Yeah, this is fun. We did a lot of fun things. We did texture, we did landscape, we learned about the horizon, how things go further back and get smaller. Mm, we did a little cutting and pasting. We did sponge painting. We did a little bit of everything in this one, huh? What was your favorite part? The texture? Yeah. Yeah, you like that part. That was pretty fun. Well, hope you're having a great time. Um, Definitely show your, show your painting to your class this week and uh, have fun learning about Grant Wood. He was a great, famous artist from America who did, did landscaping. Ooh, that's great, Jane. It looks like a real tree. It does. I like yours, actually, because it has little open spots in the leaves. It looks like a real tree that I'm seeing through. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I really like this tree. That's really good. Okay. So let's say goodbye to our friends. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Have a great week. Do some more art. <laughs>